Your bumper's falling off. A thing. <laughs> yes! Adam C and welcome once again to the Caitrim 420R. Today is a video with a difference. I'm currently in a Halfords car park in Farnham and today I'm going to be doing a long tour around Halfords in this area, well it's kind of Berkshire, Surrey and Hampshire, to the three county tour and seeing what cars I can spot in each of the car parks. So it will be a half kind of road test of the cage room and practicality test and half car spotting in the Halfords car parks. It's a video I've been wanting to do for quite a while now and I thought now I've got the 420 arts a great opportunity to do so. So we begin in Halfords and Farnham. It's quite early in the morning so there's not actually much here but then we're going to go to Farnborough which is um, normally a hot spot for good cars. So here is the Halfords. All we've got is this old Civic and a bright yellow Audi S3 behind it. But the Civic is Batman, remember that. And around the back is this pretty nicely sat GT86. I really like those wheels. They're a nice addition. Oh, there's a puppy waiting for his owner. If you don't know if you are an international viewer, Halfords is like the UK's go-to place for car parts and, and tools and, and, and bicycle stuff. And to get around today, I have got this sad nav which I am hoping to plumb in to the cage room but I don't actually know I haven't found a cigarette lighter yet I can only presume it's somewhere under the dashboard if it has one there is a cigarette lighter oh it's got a USB port so it is time to embark from the Farnham branch as the GT86 rolls by making a few noises I can hear something what is it oh it's a cage room there's a cage room just like this one. Okay, okay, wait a minute. <laughs> Jesus, there it is. That is quite the coincidence. <laughs> there we have it, another cage room. It's become something of a cage room meet now. <laughs> so here we have it, a competition red 360R that has joined my 420R, which is in volcano red. So he's driving me out the doors, quite a braver man than I am, and has a wider rear view mirror and the up high brake light for better visibility. This is an R package as well, so it's got the carbon dash the blackout kit and many other features the side pipes are fitted as well which is brilliant and the carbon fiber bucket seats i don't have that either i like that but i couldn't drive it without the doors i, I had a go it was it was windy but how's that for a combo to start the day but i really need to get going in the 420 go down to farmer gate and see what else i can see oh there's an aston martin dbx in front of me I don't know if you can see that. So these two cage rooms have the same engine, but the 420 has been tuned a little bit more. I just can't believe I'm in convoy. This was not expected. There it goes. Oh, an S15 just went the other way. There's a baby blue McLaren 570S in the traffic. Lovely. The McLaren is now following us. So we've got the two Cajuns and the baby blue McLaren 570S behind us. So here we are, Farm Brigade, looking pretty busy. We're going to aim for the Halfords, I can see a convertible M4. Oh, it looks like a little bit of a car meet here. So here we are, parked up as a duo. We've got the Glanza is just parked up next to us with the slightly brave dark red wheels. And further down here is the McLaren that we followed in and the convertible BMW M4. It's a McLaren 570S Spider in baby blue. He sure knows his car, there it is. Baby Blue 570S and there was a huge amount of cars up there that I'm going to have to go to. Is that a bright yellow Honda S2000 down there? I think I'm going to have to have a look at that later. And the Glanza does have a bit of a sticker showcase on it. Always fast. Wild speed. The Ramen Lovers Club. And what's this? It's a blue 350Z convertible. Ha! We've got a Honda Integra next to a thing of a Volkswagen thing. And an M2 competition turns up as well. Very basic inside the thing. It's essentially a beetle for going off-road and there is the Integra Type R looking wonderful white on white. We've got the more usual Halfords cars as the Subaru pulls in, including a pair of Fiestas. The Subaru is parking next to a 190E. We've got another old Merc over there as well. We've got the Citroen C2 with the white wheels and the very brave pink wheels on the T5. We've got the C63 wagon as an E46 convertible rolls by. They love the brave wheels down here, don't they? Right, I'm off to find the S2000. Oh, there it is. Mugen window sticker as well on the yellow S2000. Yellow is a great colour for any car. It seems it's a lightweight roadster kind of day today. There's a VX220 pulling in. And a matte black 992 Porsche 911. <laughs> 
Glanz is making his departure, the M2 is also leaving. We've also had a V8 Vantage turn up and another GT86, this is a different one to the one we saw earlier today. And we got a little Mark II MX-5 rolling in, I saw a 350Z go down there, there's a lot of cars on that road but we're all down here. I've also found this very colourful Mazda MX-5, a red roof and red and blue stripes down the side and over here is an Audi RS6. Oh wow, well, the MX-5 has left his rear bumper at home, it's completely bumperless at the rear. Your bumper's fallen off. I, know. I found another V8 Vantage that has turned up, this one being a Roadster. But that was the Farber Gates branch of Halfers, we've now got this low Audi A3 that's turned up as well. And we're now going to head to Bracknell, I'm going to head off on my own in the cage room and see what we can find at the Bracknell branch of Halfords. I find putting the harnesses on before closing the door is the idea, because your elbows, you need the space. See ya! That MX-5 has bought himself some timber. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's used his convertible to the extreme, his infinite roof space. So Farnborough Gates, where we just were, has a huge community. There's always nice cars in there. This doesn't look like it's quite as good. Oh my god, another cage room. This one is a 360S rather than a 360R. Here's my 420. What do you know? Quite the combo. It's like wearing the same outfit. Someone's got to change. <laughs> so there goes the 360S and incoming a Ferrari 360 Challenge Fidale. <laughs> what? I did not expect any of this to happen here, but right, I'm going to close the, if you can call it a door, close the flap. There goes the Burnt Orange 360S. Let's go find this Challenge Chardale. So here is the Challenge Chardale taking up two spaces and quite rightly so, they're quite narrow here. Looking beautiful in the sun. This may be one of the best cars that we're going to see today, but who knows. Now the C63 rolls out, making no noises. Oh, a little classic Mini in orange. Right, so we are running behind schedule as always. Next stop is Winner Halford. The Challenge Shadali here was amazing to see, incredible. Oh, there's a Lexus IS200 estate, slammed. We've got the IS200 behind us now, I don't know if he's following suit. There was a Mr. 2 back there as well. So Winner's Halfords is another one that I haven't been to before. So again, I don't know what to expect, I don't know. Okay. So straight away, without even having to get out the car, we've got this lowered Alfa Romeo 156 Estate on the classic Alfa Romeo wheels. That looks pretty nice. I like that. Sounds pretty nice too. And we've also got a blue M140i. Of course, it has a red boot. Oh no. Maybe I should uh, leave this one alone. We've got the scary Ford Mustang in red with a spoiler on the rear too. And an overfinch Range Rover. We've got the A35 and over here, <laughs> we've got a Clio with a yellow stripe. I can't believe this is here. I've seen this at the Farmer Gate Halfords before. There's his rubber ducky on the uh, dashboard. The Clio even has an ST badge on it above the Hoonigan sticker. We've got the Golden Golf over there and the blue S3. There is the golden Golf R spilling to the R and an E46 in front of it as an Aston Martin DB9 Volante pulls around the corner. And now for even more variety, an Escort Cabriolet followed by a 205 GTI. They're parking up for a spot of dogging. The chaps in their 80s machines have parked them up to get some pictures of them side by side, which is exactly what we're kind of doing. We've got the 420R with the Audi S3 in Nagara Blue. So the 205 GTI has parked up at Halfords to do a bit of shopping, and the S3 is leaving, and I'm going to head off to one of the Reading Halfords. There are two. So here is the S3. Let's get a move on. We've got a 996 Crema. There was a tricycle crossing the road as well. The great thing about sunny British days is that you get later into the day, more and more convertibles come out. In fact, there's a Series 1 Lotus Elise next to me there. Oh, a few nice cars in their driveway. We've got a brand new Porsche Taycan right there in lovely dark blue. And this is now the queue to get into Halfords, it seems. Look at that Ford Probe. Ah. Oh wow, a very loud Nissan GTR. I could hear something. I was like, what is that? Well, he's not in the Halfords car park, but he's nearby. We've spotted him. 
it's not an Adam C video without an orange Focus ST. This one has white wheels to match the stripes and the bearded man sticker. I know the sticker's from a thing, but I don't watch things. We've also got this 350Z and E36 convertible. Nice in red. Obviously, yes, I know it's a street car. We got the Audi with the body kit. And there's a pretty nice Polo GTI next to an E36 there. Check out the guy in the 2 Series. He is loving life with the back. Oh, even more so. That's brave. They're playing their banging tunes out the window, too. I don't know what that's all about, but I like it. Oh, I'm getting sunburned. I forgot my cream again. Oh, I dropped my keys. I can't reach them. The harness is harnessing me. So I am doing a bit of city driving in the Caterham, in the west end of Reading. It's not too bad, you do feel every single little bump in the roads, but otherwise I'm just getting a bit sunburnt. It's nice and nippy and small so I can fit around corners, in fact the traffic's cleared now, but it was bad. And the clutch is fine on this, so it's easy sailing. But here is the next Halfords, I can't imagine myself staying too long here. It seems as the day goes on, cars become less and less special in these car parks, but we're still hopeful. But we have found a red Nissan 350Z, and I don't mean a street car this time, I mean an actual 350Z, with a spoiler on the back. Quite the sizeable carbon spoiler with the fair Z badge. This 350 spoiler does stand out quite a bit in the uh, string of pretty bland coloured cars. But to be honest, the car scene in this particular part of Reading is not quite as vast as other parts of Reading. We'll check that out. E30 on the left, spark top. And just whilst you're with me, <laughs> this video isn't sponsored by Alphards. It was literally just an idea I had of mine. Uh, and I, I'm doing it as a E92 M3 grey pass. We've got a Mark II Golf on the left. Right, here we are. Oh, there's a white chaser! Oh, wow, we've got a Toyota chaser! So there we are, Newbury has provided a white Toyota chaser. Of course, no video of mine would be complete without one. We've also got a wide body micro over there, we'll have a look at it in a bit. And loads of cars are driving around. I've seen a blue 370Z, lots of noises, but I can't really see what's where. Where is it? No, no, there it is. Ariel Assam. So here is the wide-bodied Nissan Micra, which is pretty stripped out inside. Oh, and a bit of a sticker showcase too. Sun's crying, thanks. There's another Caterham. Is it coming in? I hope so. It's green. I think I just saw a bit of green. Yes, yes. <laughs> That's three other Caterhams in one day. There we go, a 310. So now we have a 310S Caterham in a very vibrant shade of green next to me. There's a few differences. It's got the side windows for wind deflection and then the half doors in place as well. So it's a lot more open and a little bit windy, but not quite as bad as it would be without the side windows. It's got a different dashboard. It's got an Alcantara steering wheel versus my just standard leather wheel. And the smaller 13 inch wheels rather than my huge 15s. We've got the Apollo versus the Orcus wheels. There goes the micro, we've got the chaser and the two Caterhams. We're now going to head off to Basingstoke to see what we can see there. A white chaser, because everyone loves a white chaser. So I am now following the Caterham to the next location. Oh, this is brilliant. Today worked out fantastically. Oh, how's that for a convoy? We've got the white chaser, we've got the wide body Nissan Micra and two Caterhams behind. Today is a good day. Yeah! Oh! Oh, there he goes! Ho -ho! He's doing a lap of the roundabout! Ho -ho! That's why he had blurry number plates. It's a 
only a small one, but let's see. Oh, there's a Volkswagen Beetle. So at this, the Basingstoke location, all we've got is this pretty cool classic Volkswagen Beetle, bit of a rat rod in style. And if you can see past the reflection, you've got the subs in the back too. The engine cover's ajar for better cooling. And I just love the hand-painted writing on the side. And we've just had this Astra pull up next to us with the blue accents on the spoiler, the wheels, the wing mirrors. This is more the kind of car that I expected to see at Halfords today. Even the vents in the bonnets, which do vent. And whilst the two Caterhams are here facing forward next to each other, you can see the difference between the S3 body and the SV. So mine is the slightly wider nose and body and cabin, whereas here is the S3 narrower original Caterham size. So you are a lot more cocooned in the cockpit than in my one. It's very intimate in here. But after a day of driving around and spending time in Halfords a lot, I'm going to conclude the video now. So that was the Caterham 420R and an array of Halfords around the area. Something a bit different, so I hope you enjoyed it. So we finished with a 310S, we had a 360R and a 360S as well. Can't believe the amount of Caterhams that turn up as well and the white chaser, of course. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Go follow me on Instagram for all the updates of where I'm going to be and if I do another one of these tours later on. But for now, thanks for watching.